Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with my challenge team page for Bramble Fox. And this month, <laughs> uh, the challenge is to step out of your comfort zone. And I kind of, I don't know, pride myself on being willing to try anything. And so I had about convinced myself that I don't have a, a specific comfort zone. And so therefore nothing is outside of it. Then I remembered triangles. And those of you who <laughs> know me, when I see a sketch that has triangles or um, a scrap lift, and I'm committed to doing the sketch or the scrap lift, I truly have anxiety. And there is something about the shape of a triangle that uh, it, it seems... Um, sharp and and unfriendly and um, unorganic or something. Anyway, so what did I do? I punched out, I took a, a sheet of paper from Warm Wishes and I cut triangles out of it. I think there are 21 triangles, not sure. And I just used my punch, and then I I decided I was going to try to do... I had this photo of Reese in front of the tree, and, and I to me, she's looking uh, up at me wondering, where's the skirt? Because And we can't put a tree skirt down uh, until we have the presents to put on top of it, and, and because... She thinks it's kind of um, padded and and uh, feels good in her mouth, I guess. She loves to chew on it and then yank it all around the house. So there's no there's no skirt there and it looks like and the tree looks naked without it, but she is the reason. So I had this and I thought, okay, maybe I can make a tree out of triangles. And I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I kind of dry fitted a little bit, and but I'm going to do something else other than than what I had down there. So I was thinking I would do a line of six of these kind of overlapping, and then I'd do five and four and three and two and, and get up to the top. And I... I dry fitted enough to think that I have the right um, uh, height, that, that the height is going to work. So I'm going to do this, and then, and they're, they're lifted up, and then where there are kind of shelves that get left when I, I bring in the number of... Um, when I reduce the number of, of triangles, uh, that's where I'll put some ornaments. And we'll see how that works out. So that's five. I need one more. And I'm going to do that. Now, what I'm going to do here is, and I probably should use a pencil for this. I'm going to curl these up. I'm not going to do it do them all right now. I'm just going to do that one to kind of show you what I have planned and to give myself an idea. And that makes the line look like it's crooked, but um, I'm not going to pay attention to that because when they all get curled up, it'll be fine. Right? And then... And I have a beautiful Bramble Fox title from the December Fox Box. And I have some uh, gnomes and a little gnome house. And some uh, candies and candy canes. And some holly leaves and holly berries. 
all of which are going to come into play at some point. And I'm a little concerned about these, but I think the next row will cover those. Um, yeah. And what's going to break up the monotony of all of the triangles being the same, I hope, is the curling and the showing that which will cause the other side to show. So I may not make you watch me curl every single one of these. It's actually the tree is kind of not as tall as I thought it was gonna be. Let me move that over there. Not sure what I'll do about that. I'll put a big old star on top. And I have a star just in case that happens. So when I curl these, for sure that white underneath will show but I'm not going to let that bother me a whole lot. It's kind of an abstract representation of a tree that... What is that? I've got the wrong one there. That one goes on top. Oh, let's see. Here. And then this one goes that way <laughs> it's kind of weird so let me curl curl it, it goes pretty fast and of course when i put this in a in an album, these things are going to, um, the curls are gonna flatten out. But for right now, for purposes of, and for the time that it's hanging on my wall during the Christmas season, um, it'll have this dimension using my Margaritaville Beach Resort <laughs> pencil <laughs> here. I like how it, it looks, and I, I had no, it, it's different from what I expected, but, and that's all of them, so it actually kind of looks like a, a Christmas tree, right? This is the photo, and I thought I would put the photo maybe kind of like so. And I have done this, um, this little bit here. Let me see if I can scooch the photo in a bit more. And I have to do this. There. And now this can kind of go like th so. What I've done here is I've taken one of the chipboard hearts that came from the Warm Wishes embellishment pack and kind of tucked it inside this wreath, and I used Bramble Fox, um, uh, Holly Leaf, and Berry there. Uh, you know what I think I'm gonna do to make this taller? I, how would that look? I like that, actually. Let me, I, I was maybe gonna use this over 
by the photo if that embellishment was too big. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll put this on top. And I do have this star that I cut for a different project, but it's from the same collection, so there. Now, do I want the title here? Maybe down here, even with the where the photo is, or over here. That's kind of, it's too heavily weighted over there. So I'm gonna put it here, I think, even with that. And then I thought maybe I would do a little gnome house kind of propped up there and a little gnome here. I just kind of have to get those situated. Insert it like that and then have the bottom making contact there. And I love this little gnome with his reindeer uh, antlers there. Okay. And then I have this, which came from the Paper Snips number 15, which are the Christmas-themed Paper Snips. And those came, I subscribed to the Fox Box Plus, and it includes a stencil and a uh, Paper Snips in addition to the Perspectives, the couple packs of Perspectives. So I'm gonna put this on there. Let me get this glued down, and then we'll decorate the tree. Okay, so now I have four candy canes, and I thought I would kind of line them up there, and then I'll have, I've got red and green. I'll have this green one maybe here. There we go. And then I have another green one. Oops. I'll put it, actually, I'll put it down on the lower one. I've got glue everywhere that won't show when it's all over, but I don't like looking at it now. And then this kind of over overlapping the, the photo a bit. And then I have these little round candies that can go um, here. Uh, let me change candy type here. Well, I also need to change candy color and type. And let's see, let's change candy color and type here as well. Uh, 
And I'll put this right here. And this right. Hmm. Let's see. How about, let's see. I need this maybe right over here. And this round, well, let me get the um, starlight right there. And then I'm gonna put this circle-y one kind of right there so it'll somewhat go into that space and then where does this one need to go maybe right up here and that's all i had for it i'm wondering if i think that's enough I actually love it, but I have one more little gnome here, and I have this area right here that's kind of open. So let me see. If I can do that. And I'm gonna write journaling about um, Reese looking for the skirt and um, on the day we decorated the tree, the night we decorated the tree. There we go. Let me curl that up some more. Okay. I think we've got ourselves a cute little, a cute little tree page. And I love the photo of Reese. And I think it's, um, I think it's done. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Uh, for those of you who uh, have uh, followed me, I'm doing this um, ahead of time, uh, right before uh, leaving for, um, Louisiana, once I'm sure that the weather is uh, suitable to do so. And in case you haven't seen any of my posts out there, my sister is, um, she's completed the testing that they were going to do at the hospital and the rest of it will be done by specialists on an outpatient basis. And I'm going to go down there and kind of get her back and forth to some of those appointments and um, talk with the doctors and see what uh, what's going on. It doesn't sound like it's going to be uh, anything um, good. So I'm, I'm concerned and I appreciate all of your well wishes and your um, uh, prayers and good vibes and all of those things. So uh, this is my out of my comfort zone page. And I hope you'll go to Bramble Fox. Uh, the, it's Bramble Fox Friends on Facebook and uh, check out the challenges, check out the inspiration and um, uh, enter the contest. You can get a um, uh, 15 pound voucher to spend in the store and just upload your layout and to qualify for the drawing. So thank you very much. Bye.